Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. What is this? Why do I do this? <laughs> Let's try that again. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So since you guys had such a good response to my Dear Rachel video that I did, I thought why not go ahead and give you guys another one. So this is going to be a Dear Rachel video um, and I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also keep leaving me comments and I'll obviously keep making more of these videos responding to what you guys are asking and stuff. So if I'm not answering your question today, I will answer it in a different video. Okay, so let's get started. So this comes from Steph. Hi Steph. She wants to know why Harold and I fight or what it's about and what causes it. Um, just because she sees herself um, getting in silly arguments and she wants to know if that's like normal um, and how our lady time affects our emotions. So I thought, you know what, let's talk about this. So first of all, let me say that Harold and I do argue. Um, we try not to like fight, um, but obviously we don't agree on everything. We are two separate human beings and we have our own opinions about things and we go about things differently. So I don't know if there's something that we particularly argue about a lot um, but most of the time I would say it comes from a misunderstanding that we just aren't communicating well enough because I might think something and he might think something else or he didn't portray something the right way or just something you know a miscommunication obviously um, another thing that I've noticed um, and I've noticed in other relationships long distance relationships and West Point relationships um, a thing that can cause fights or arguments is typically the well I would say girl but the one who's not the West Pointer um, you might think that maybe you are sacrificing a lot or you're trying to give up so much to make it work with this person and you feel like maybe they aren't giving the same back or putting as much effort into the relationship as you are. Um, and this is kind of natural I think to think because their schedule is probably just a million times crazier than yours. Um, and unfortunately you kind of do have to bend more than they will um, because they can't. I mean I know if Harold had a schedule where he could be more flexible and it could be more on my time, then I know that he would do that. But frankly, uh, he doesn't. So he's not just a normal college student. He is at West Point and they have a very rigorous um, academic schedule. I mean, crazy, honestly. Um, also their military duties. Also he's the captain of the baseball team, which is a whole other commitment. And now he's doing this whole Mount Everest thing and running a nonprofit um, and really trying to get this thing up and going. So um, if your man is anything like this, he has a lot of commitments. And yes, he made that commitment to you as well, um, but you just have to realize he is trying. Um, it's also nature for men maybe not to need as much uh, affirmation and time and maybe talking on the phone or stuff like that that we do need so they don't quite realize it as much that it it can hurt us and and hurt our feelings if we're not getting the attention that we need I don't know why I keep doing this or this but um, I am so we do argue uh, I would say right now some of the things that we've been you know getting into little tips about would be more of the wedding um just because the same situation I'm like doing all this wedding stuff and I'm like dude you're not doing anything um which I mean he is helping when he can but he can't um he's just so busy so I don't know I'm not sure there's really a solution to that other than me just trying to be more understanding and him trying to be more understanding and trying to help out when he can best and for me to just be like okay I get it like you're a busy human being um so I don't know I feel like I don't have this like awesome answer to help you stop arguing or being in fights other than literally just communicate better um, and I know that's hard sometimes especially when you are annoyed with each other but you really have to um, also I realized that when you know someone so well it is so much easier to make them mad because 
you know what pushes their buttons. Like Harold and I literally know, like if I'm upset with him, it's like if I said this or did this, like that would make him so angry. He knows that with me. And so sometimes we'll want to do that, but that is hands down the worst thing that you could do because you're just gonna escalate it, make it so much worse. Um, and just remember that anything that you say, like yes, you can apologize for it, but you really can't take it back. Um, so I would just be careful with um, the words that you're choosing when you're upset. I personally like to take a little time to cool off. Um, I'm like, okay, you know, let's just not talk about this right now. And then normally after, you know, we let some time pass, we both realize like, oh my gosh, like I don't even wanna argue with you. Like, I love you so much. I'm sorry that we're arguing. And then we're able to talk it out in a better manner when we're not so like uptight and like super defensive because I feel like we both get defensive really easily because we have our own opinion, you know? And sometimes there really isn't a solution. It's just like, okay, we obviously both just think different things. And so we have to just agree to respect each other's opinions and that's it. But you are not strange or weird. Also, it is completely normal if you're extra emotional during your time of the month because yes, uh, we have emotions and they get completely just out of whack sometimes. So you're not weird, you're not crazy. That literally happens to the best of us. Um, and something that your guy, boyfriend, whatever should know is that that's gonna happen, like that's normal. So it depends kind of where you're at in your relationship if you wanna talk about that and just kind of let him know, hey, this is going on, like if I'm extra emotional, maybe tell him to be a little bit more sensitive during those times um, because I know, okay, so Harold loves to just push my buttons, you know? It's just like such a boy thing. Like in kindergarten, you just, you know, push someone down and you're like flirting with them. Like I never understand this, but this is what boys do. They literally like to poke your buttons and they think it's fun. Um, and that's kind of like their thing. It's like their nature. But when we're extra sensitive, it's like, no, like I don't think you're funny. I am going to get offended and I'm gonna be really annoyed with you and probably get angry and wanna get in a fight with you. So just let them know, hey, let's not do that when I'm not feeling the greatest ever. You feel me? You feel me. One of the number one things that I also know is that if we are arguing too, it's normally for two different things or causes us to argue is a, we haven't seen each other in a long time and we just get frustrated at that point because it's hard. It's hard not to be there. Um, yes, you're there emotionally um, and like talking wise, but like to physically have someone there when you're upset, um, it can just sometimes make it worse if you just, it makes everything worse. Um, so normally it's because you, you just miss them and, and sometimes when you miss them, then you get mad. <laughs> um, so you probably just miss them. That's probably one of the reasons in the other. I mean, this is more on a spiritual um, basis. So if you're not spiritual, then I guess it won't deal with you. But for us, I realize that means that we are probably not doing a good job um, spending time with God and keeping God at the center of our relationship. Um, and we've noticed this a couple occasions when we start getting short with each other, we're not as loving towards each other. We're like, we haven't been praying often. Like we haven't been praying together. Like, um, and so then we kind of have to refocus on that. So those are two big things, at least in my life. So I hope that answered your question a little bit. Obviously this is just my own experience. I am not some like relationship guru by any means. Uh, this is just my life and it might not relate to you and it might, but I hope it helped a little bit. Also, I did talk to Harold about this. Um, so I will tell you what his response was. His first response was, you're always quick to get mad and then I press your buttons. But at the end of the day, we only get in a fight when you get upset. I'm the perfect sweet guy. <laughs> so I was like, nice. Uh, he's like, I'm kidding. Um, so that's just, that was his first response. He was kidding, but I mean, he was honestly half true because I would say that I am quicker to get upset than he is uh, because I take things differently than he does. Also, our sense of humor is a little different. I've gotten a lot better, but he's a lot more sarcastic than I am. And sometimes I'm like, no, I just can't handle the sarcasm. So, um, and he does it on purpose sometimes, you know? But anyways, then he said his real answer. He said, I think we fight over things that are out of our control, such as time. Also, we fight a lot too because I don't communicate well with you due to a busy schedule. We fight because I put other things ahead of you without even trying. Um, 
and that's all I said. So those are some good points, I guess. Um, I already talked about communication, and that falls on both of us. Um, and then, like you said, maybe putting things ahead of me without trying and I think this goes to his busy schedule um, he just has a lot going on and so it's easy for him to get caught up in that and me too when I'm really busy then I'm just gonna you know go 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 and do my stuff and it's like oh I forgot like I have someone else that I need to be thinking about and caring about as well um, and time obviously some things are just clearly out of our control I mean you have to realize that if you are in this long distance relationship um, you can't control everything and sometimes it is going to be really hard and instead of taking that out on the other person when it's really not their fault um, it would be better to just talk about it with that person and um, discuss it together instead of taking it out on them. Does that help? I hope that helped you. Um, so I am going to end this Dear Rachel here and I love you guys again. Thank you so much for watching my videos. It really means so much to me um, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!